was Jack Kennedy. And during World War II, he served in the Pacific on the PT boats. His PT boat was cut in two by a Japanese destroyer in the Blackett Straits near the Solomon Islands. It was a, a corridor known as the Tokyo Express, and his, uh, his, his, his boat sunk. Two of his crew were killed. One of them was badly burned. He towed that, uh, the burned uh, uh, crew member, I think about six miles, with a lanyard in his teeth. He'd been on the Harvard swim team, so he was a very strong swimmer. And he brought his crew to a little spit of sand where there were some palm trees, and they hid from the Japanese patrol boats for the next week. He was presumed dead. His family was told that he was missing in action, presumed dead. He was hiding in that, on that spit of land. And uh, at some point, some Solomon Island natives came by to gather coconuts, and they were climbing the coconut trees. My uncle came out of the, the, his hiding place, and the Solomon Islanders didn't like the Japanese. The Japanese were an occupying force. Um, I, uh, my uncle communicated with him, and then he carved his, uh, his coordinates on a coconut, and the Solomon Islander put that coconut at the bottom of his canoe that was filled with coconuts paddled about 20 miles across the Blackett Straits to the British base and gave the coconut to the commander, and my uncle was then uh, was rescued. And my uncle had that coconut on his desk uh, during his entire pre presidency in the Oval Office. But I'll tell you something. At his inauguration, he invited the admiral of the Japanese fleet who had been, who had been piloting the just commanding the destroyer that cut him in two. So I got to meet him there. Um, but he also invited the two Solomon Islanders and uh, and the British governor in, of the Solomon Islands was embarrassed by their appearance because they were barefoot, they never had shoes. They were not, I think they were wearing like loincloths or something and they didn't speak any English. So he did not want to send them as kind of ambassadors from the Solomon Islands. So he picked two more presentable Solomon Islanders. And when my uncle met them, he was like, these are not the guys who rescued me. And he was furious at the British governor. Anyway, it's a funny story.